Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. In this video, we're going to show the wedding of the weekend. Dean and Kaylin said yes to marriage. They uh, got tattoos. They had a camp-themed wedding. Was it the best wedding theme ever? Could have been. We're going to get into that whole story right now. Your exclusive content that covers the Instagram stories and the People magazine photos and all that jazz. Follow me on Instagram at dneals for stand-up show updates. Tonight, I'm going to be at the uh, the improv, the Hollywood, the famous Hollywood improv. And um, it is it is an interesting week here. It's the beginning of Golden Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise, but that won't begin till Thursday night. That's right. We have Thursday night programming, but I'll be here every morning on Patreon at patreon.com slash Dave Neal, and also every afternoon Bachelor Rush Hour, the hit podcast. So Dean and Kaylin were engaged, and now they're married, and not every engaged couple ends up married, uh, like Tino and Rachel that got engaged on Rachel's season and then unengaged very quickly. Well, we've made it to Us Weekly, folks. That's right. Our interview here on the Dave Neal Show on YouTube has made it into Us Weekly. Now, of course, you know, does this do anything for my channel that we've got got featured in one of the biggest gossip magazines in the world? Not really. So anyway, here's our video. It's a one out of 10, which means you guys have watched this video more than any other video we've made uh, for the Dave Neal show. Got us new subscribers and all that jazz. But when you look at the numbers and you look at how many people are watching the traffic sources, it's not even in the, like, it doesn't even show how many people watched from uh, external sources. So only 200 of you clicked uh, and watched the video from Us Weekly. Does that mean journalism is dead? Kind of. Uh, but either way, I appreciate you guys and all your support. All right, let's get into this story here. Kaylin Miller Keys and Dean Unglert are married inside their camp themed wedding in Colorado. And exclusive wedding uh, journal, a uh, journalistic uh, 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 article. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do here. It's a Monday morning, folks. I have to deal with Mondays too, okay? We're not all caught up on our coffee on Mondays. I'm going to read this article for you and I'm going to count how many. Uh, how many instances of product placement influencer links are in here. And um, the over-under I'm setting is at nine. Um, as you know, I used to set it at five, but uh, they're finding new ways to get people. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure Dean has a bolo tie sponsor or, or pocket watch sponsor. I don't blame him. Make as much money back as you can. The whole wedding industry is overpriced. Anyway, the Bachelor in Paradise stars said, I do on Saturday during a romantic weekend-long celebration in Meredith, Colorado. Okay, let's read it. So I'm, I'm counting. My guess is there's more than nine, but let's see. Kaylin Miller Keys and Dean Ungler are married. The Bachelor and Paradise stars tied the knot on September 23rd at a private mountain retreat in Meredith, Colorado, near where Ungler grew up. That's a typo there. They said goo up. Okay, I understand. It was a weekend article. The couple's Camp Bell wedding theme was a sentimental nod to Miller Keys' longtime love for summer camp and Ungler's late mother, Debbie Bell, who died from breast cancer when he was a teenager. After the couple's wedding, the pair planned to, uh, to exchange their last name to Bell in her honor. Wow. They're, co they're both going to change their last name to Bell. This is, this is interesting news. So there they are. Beautiful dress, nice veil, and Dean's got the nice rabbit-tailed suit jacket. Are these the right words to use? I'm not sure. Now, now to be quite honest, I hope they had bug spray because it looks like ticks could be out here with high, tall grass. We both love the... And by the way, I love they don't have a product placement yet, so I could be wrong. Well, there it is. Carter Rose is the photographer, so we have our first one. We both love the Colorado area and it made even more special, explains Miller Keys, who first met Unglert on Bachelor in Paradise in 2019. We also wanted a way for everyone to be together all weekend versus just for a night or two. When we toured this venue, we immediately knew it was the one. Everyone has their own cabin and is staying on property. Okay, this first of all, this is amazing. This is why I love my wedding so much uh, because it went. we went to a small town in Mexico and everyone had to be there and everyone was there for three to five days and while it might be a, a pain for people to get there, it really does create a better vibe when you're spending the whole weekend together versus just three, four hours. All right, there they are walking down. It looks like they've got white roses planted into the ground. How amazing. Uh, ahead of the couple's big day, Miller Keys told people that the festivities were going to be very unique and special. I'm so excited to be able to spend so much 
much time with everyone, it won't be super traditional. Uh, there they are again. To kick off the weekend celebration, Miller Keys and Unglert hosted a bright and colorful welcome dinner where all 75 guests enjoyed a meal together at, a, at one long table. I loved summer camp more than anything growing up, and so we incorporated some camp themes throughout the weekend, like field day, to really allow everyone to get to know each other. For the welcome dinner, we also wanted to incorporate a little bit of Italy, one of our favorite places we've been to together. So there she is. They kept decor for the nuptials minimal in terms of color and incorporated white and green throughout the ceremony. Carly Wilde and Emily Mornian from Milk Glass Productions helped plan the details of the wedding, while Lady Sunshine Florals created the floral engage arrangement. We wanted this day to feel like an elegant night in the mountains. She said the whole weekend will be a perfect mix of us as a couple. Okay, so we're only at three products so far. I'm, I'm a little worried we're not going to get to nine. Miller Keys added that one non-negotiable for the pair while playing planning their wedding was to be able to bring their dog, Alistair. Luckily, we found a venue that allows dogs and has acres and acres of land for him to run ar around. I'd just be worried he's not going to get attacked by a bear, right? You're in Colorado or mountain lion, you know. For her walk down the aisle, the bride wore a Leahy Hod gown from NWLA. So I'm going to count that as two. It was the second dress they tried on, and I immediately knew it was the one. I wanted something simple, classic, and elegant. The designer allowed me to make a few customations. We lowered the waistline a bit, removed the pockets, and added a removable corset. She later changed into a second dress by Catherine Tash. Oh, dress number two. I went into my dress fittings knowing the style of both dresses I wanted and I'm so happy with how they turned out. She adds, I worked with PS Bridal Rental in the UK to help style each look. Boy, she's got she's getting European influencer deals. They helped me from the very first dress fitting before I picked anything to figure out the perfect jewelry and shoes. You know me, if I'm planning a wedding in Colorado, I need to know what those British people think about it. Alright, so she's at seven right now. One of Unglert's best friends, Jackson, officiated the wedding ceremony. Unglert entered to Don't Worry, Be Happy by Bobby McFerrin, while Miller Keys chose Kiss Me by Sixpence. Mwah. Great songs. At the altar, the couple exchanged wedding bands. Unglert's from Stone and Strand and Miller Keys, Nicole Rolls Jewelry, and Personal Vows. All right, we're at nine, folks. Are we going to get to ten? So there they are in a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I'm most excited to hear Dean's vows, she told people ahead of the ceremony. He's such a good writer. He's a good public speaker. He's great at articulating his feelings, and I think he's hilarious, so I know they will be perfect. During the reception, guests dined on Alaskan salmon and ribeye, plus a three-tiered vanilla cake and ice cream sandwiches from Afternoon Delight, right? That's 11, while Stratosphere, or 10, is that 10 or 11? Well, Stratosphere, someone leave a comment. Well, Stratosphere from the Jordan Khan Music Company performed. All right, that's 11 officially. So they're at 11. They might be setting a record. Later, the couple shared their first dance to Bring It On Home To Me by Sam Cooke. We, lo we looked up the meaning of the song, and it's about a guy who loses a girl and will do anything to get her back. It felt very true to us and how our relationship began on the beach in Mexico when Dean came back. Following the wedding, Miller Key says she and her husband will head to Aspen to relax and simply enjoy being married before they jet off to South Africa in December for a honeymoon. Dean is so compassionate. He has a way of making everything feel so special, and I really admire that about him. He's taught me a lot in the past four years of us being together. He never says no or he can't do something. He always tries and almost always succeeds. It's been great to flip my perspective on things and start challenging myself more. Each year with Dean gets better, and I'm so excited and I'm excited and so I'm excited to see how we grow as husband and wife. Hopefully, kids are in the future as well. There it is, folks. I had us at 11. We had 11 sponsors, so good for them. And here's Dean's first Instagram post, Till Death Do Us Part. And then Kaylin says, uh, September 23rd, 23, the best day of my life. Ashley I Iconetti said, and I'm going to ball again. The canoe photo, it was such a beautiful weekend for the most stunning and kind couple. All right, well, let, if, let's see what Ashley captured. Here's Ashley uh, Iconetti's Instagram. She's got Dean, it looks like, writing his wedding vows. Very nice. It's giving Jack Dawson, of course. Jack Dawson from the uh, non-fictional movie, Titanic. Well, it was not non-fiction in the sense that the, the boat sank. All right, the combination of this song playing and the breathtaking white roses had me crying, she said. And here they are at the wedding dinner. Beautiful Colorado background. And here they are dancing, Mr. and Mrs. Bell. How fascinating. They took a new last name. That's very nice of them and very special that they did that. All right, Alex Bordy, uh, who... You know, it was on Bachelor in Paradise, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, Canada. There he is, waiting for the Lady Leap. All the ladies are. So that's I mean that's a big. And you know, who's the guy that jumped on him? I can't I can't tell from this. And then they do a smooch there. 
So very nice. Looks like everyone's getting buck wild. And now here they are dancing. And that was that. So let's see if we have any um, Instagram stories. I'm sure we do from Kaylin Miller Keys. Only two. So she only has two. She said the best night of my life. And here we have um, Dean dancing. Very nice. Old school. And then she said, my husband. And then let's go to Dean's Instagram stories. This is why you need to pay a social media person to just upload photos for you. I'll probably do a piss poor job of posting wedding pics, he said. And there they are uh, dancing. Probably because I was half naked the whole time, he said. So there they are. But it sure was fun, he says. So let's go to some of the photos here and see what we're working with. I don't know if we got all of those from the People magazine. So there they are in the woods. There they are in front of the band. Very nice. You know, he's dipping her. Very good. And there they are. I mean, I just hope there wasn't any bugs. That was my only concern is what would the bugs be like? But he's got a great suit on with the bolo tie. Married in, I believe, his home state. I wonder if his dad came to the wedding. We didn't uh, know if it. So they're ringing the bell. The official ringing the bell right there. Very nice. And then there they are. She looks gorgeous. I mean, look, people people gave Dean a lot of shit because, I mean, I don't know if it's because he's aloof or he has some unique perspectives on marriage. I think, I think he was kind of like didn't necessarily believe in the process. And I get all of that. I truly do. I mean, you know, like uh, it's not like society has wowed us with, you know, marriage percentages and all these other things. Uh, it's not great. I understand that. But also as someone who also found his love, I can understand uh, being able to change your mind and want to find your forever person. Jason Tartik said, congrats, my man. So happy for you, too. Becca Tilly, best weekend ever. So it looks like people really, really enjoyed the camp vibes that they had there. There was We had some other videos here that I, I don't know where they went um, of them playing the... the uh, so, oh, here's Ashley Iconetti. She posted this. Um, I don't know what the initial song was they're dancing to, but this is, just is absolutely out of control. I love it so much. It looks like Dean just short circuits, like uh, something stopped working in his brain. And it's, you ever have this happen where you're like, all right, system uh, malfunction, and then they just love it. They're going nuts with them. There they are, folks, right? Good vibes indeed to elicit it looks like it's a little chilly out there too people in ski caps either way love it very much congratulations to them and on their wedding and uh on life as it comes up and now that they're married caitlin's already teasing will we have babies and we'll have to see how that all plays out but uh, either way there's your full wedding update. I'll have more content coming your way. If you haven't already checked out my Tino video, it's making the news. You can go listen to the conversation. I assure you, and no offense to Us Weekly, no offense to Miranda here who did her best writing her article. I assure you, watching the interview is better than reading a couple choice clips, uh, but um, you do whatever you need to do. Uh, the link will be right there if you want it, and we'll be back with more content right after this.